Welcome back. I'm Melissa Rendero and you're watching Granberry TV News. According to NASA, the largest galaxy cluster ever has been spotted by observers using NASA's Chandra, Chandra X-ray Observatory. The galaxy cluster has been nicknamed El Gordo, which is Spanish for the fat one. Just how fat is El Gordo? As the galaxy cluster El Gordo is among the largest known objects in the universe, which occurred when hundreds or even thousands of galaxies collide. NASA reported this specific galaxy cluster is about 2 million billion times the mass of the Sun. According to the information from NASA, more information about El Gordo will be announced at the 219th meeting of the American Astronomical Society, held th through January 12th in Austin, Texas. A paper describing these results has been accepted for the publication in the Astrophysical Journal, according to the NASA reports. And Tiffany Elaine Legg, who is 24, was charged in September with abandoning her newborn son after walking away from Lake Grammar Medical Center, failed to show for a January 3rd court hearing where she was to be arranged and have her, her chance to request a bond reduction. District Judge Ralph Walton reset her bond instead because of the no-show, increasing it from 15000 to twenty-five. She turned herself in Monday, January 9th. And oral arguments took place Monday in the U.S. Supreme Court over redistricting, but as yet, there is still no ruling. The primaries are already were pushed from March 6th to April 3rd due to tie-ups in court. Now, media reports say that the Supreme Court justices are suggesting the primaries could be in late June now. And a mother of three is dead and her common-law husband is jailed after the woman's body was found in a restroom of a state welfare office in South Texas. Police say a cleaning crew found the body of Kimberly Lee Gonzalez about 1.45 p.m. on Tuesday, slumped in a restroom at the Texas Health and Human Services Office in Alice. Police say she was taken to a hospital where she later died. Police say the cause of the 26-year-old Alice woman's death is being withheld pending autopsy results. The woman's 25-year-old husband followed her ambulance part of the way to the hospital before veering off. Officers arrested him, but charges are still pending. And the Federal Appeals Court in New Orleans says Texas can enforce an abortion law passed last year while opponents challenge it in court. A three-judge panel of 5th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals on Tuesday overturned a district judge's temporary order against enforcing the law. The measure requires the doctors who perform abortions show sonograms to patients, describing the images and describe the fetal heartbeat. The panel says U.S. District Judge Sam Sparks in Austin was incorrect to rule doctors had a substantial chance to win their case. Sparks ruled in August that several provisions of the state law violated the free speech rights of doctors who performed abortions. Well, folks, that's all the news for today. I hope everyone has a great day and a great weekend. And we'll see you back here on Granbury TV Monday morning. Bye now.